So we're going to go deep cut. This is about 30 years ago in Chicago, Illinois at Poplar Creek. Um, one of the most informative and enlightening experiences of my life happened at a Diana Ross concert there. And the reason I brought uh, my mom into this is because Josh, you met her this weekend. She is and was, I mean, wouldn't you say she's, a, she's an attractive woman, right? She's a stylish lady for sure. So, see, you handled that like a true friend. Cause I walked you know, you right into that to say, <laughs> to say she was hot and you didn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to talk my, about your mom that way. Oh, man. Dude, you're my first friend. That's never taken that shot, man. I love you. So I would have taken that bait. I, I would have taken that bait. That's why I didn't throw it to you, Jay. I threw it to Josh. <laughs> <laughs> so that informs the story because, um, when my mom, uh, there was a brief period, there was a period of her life where she, she had two young boys and she, uh, was in Chicago, and there was she was a lot being pursued by a lot of uh, suitors, let's say. And these men in Chicago would always try to take her on dates and invite her on trips. And she rarely, rarely said yes. But one time, um, a, a, a gentleman, I, I don't remember his name, he really found her Achilles heel, and he asked my mom on a date with two front row tickets to Diana Ross at Poplar Creek. And she did not feel comfortable at this period of her life taking that date. So she said, no, I'm with my boys that weekend. So this hitter, whatever his name is, a distant memory, he comes back with four front row tickets to Diana <laughs> Ross <laughs> what? at Poplar Creek. Now, he's coming back, out strong. He, was, he knew exactly where to go because my mom was a singer. She was a chanteuse. She sang um, for, she opened for Bobby Short. She would sing like kind of fabulous Baker Boys style on top of pianos and lounges in Chicago. So it was, wow. she was going to take, this, this gentleman was going to take my mom and her two sons to this concert. I'm 13 years old. My brother's 11. We show up at the show, Poplar Creek, probably 30,000 people on stage. I had no idea who Diana Ross was before this, but I slowly realized through the course of the concert that she's one of the best singer songwriters of all time. Like and, you actually did know half of her songs. I, I, I usually, you know? <laughs> it all felt so familiar. And so I was so surprised for the, the, the last song. She came back from the encore. I, we're in the front row now because this guy's trying to sleep with my mom, and <laughs> which didn't happen. The, Diana Ross is on stage with this giant gown, just lights everywhere, huge band on stage. And she reaches into the front row. And she pulls me up on stage with her. Oh, boy. And I start, I'm just dancing with Diana Ross at Poplar Creek. No way, just like dude. Shaking my white ass, doing everything I can. The running man had just come out. So I'm like <laughs> doing the running man. And I'm like, I think I'm killing it. And she takes me to the front of the stage. And what I hear is maybe not what she said, but what I heard, she takes me to the front of the stage and she, we do a bow and she says, this kid is the future. And we take the bow. No way. And I'm Come like, on. holy shit, dude. Diana Ross just said that I was the future. I was the so I come down off the stage. I'm like on a 12 buzz. Future of what? <laughs> Just like the, 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 the general, the future of everything, the general future of humanity in my head. So we're walking to the parking lot and everyone's pointing at me and they're like, great job up there, man. Great job. And I'm like, thank you. Thank you. So great. So for about four years, I carried that around in my psyche that Diana Ross had brought me on stage and said that I was the future. My, my brother was there at the show too. So, you know, he was the past at that he, point. He, he, <laughs> <laughs> she's like, what does that make me? <laughs> exactly. So those are very formative years from like 12 to 16 through every, uh, you know, breakup, schoolyard fight, bad stuff that happened in my life. I think I had a subconscious thing in my head, which was Diana Ross thinking that I was the future until I'm at a dinner with some family and I overhear my mom relaying to other adults the story of the Diana Ross concert at oh Poplar boy. Creek. And she says, it was such an incredible night. It was so amazing. Hayes got on stage and actually at the end of it, she held up his hand and said, the kids are the future. The kids. Go, oh I boy. Go, I go, what? 
That's not what she said. She said, this kid's the future. No, no, no. And my brother goes, you dumbass. You thought all this time that Diana Ross said that you were the future. But I thought of that story, Josh, one, because you met her this weekend, and two, because it's just part of like being around for a while. Like when you think one thing and then you realize something totally different. You were like Bill Murray later. and Caddyshack, man. You had like the Dalai Lama, so you had that going for you. Yeah, I had you the, know? That was my, yeah, that was what carried me through. But then when you find out the Did. truth, it was like some Santa Claus shit. You're like, what? Mustache Tales.